Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first off, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my YouTube members, Tinky. Thanks for your support. Now in tonight's episode of Should You Summon, we'll discuss the new banners available, the Earth Series banner, as well as the AS Tiramisu regular and fateful banners. Now if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So first of all, of course, this is only available if you'd updated to the newest version 2.7.7. So first of all, let's cover the 3 times max Fateful Encounter Oscillating Earth series. So only available for a week, of course. And this one is uh, paid stone, so you can only use it with 1000 paid stones. And keep in mind, you can do it up to 3 times. So on the 10th ally encounter, you can get one of these guaranteed 5 stars. AS Tiramis, Primaya, Bertrand, so on and so forth. So there's a total of 8 different ones. 12.5% chance of each one on the 10th. Keep in mind that obviously in pulls 1 to 9, you can still hit them as well as hit the rest of the uh, requisite types of 5 stars. So Yuella, Milsha, Melissa, so on and so forth, all the way down. So only on the 10th one does it guarantee those one and only one of those 8. And of course, no banner is complete without having the Curvos of the world, the Palms, and of course the Rainbow Sisters, Knights, and Bots. And keep in mind that you do have the one time, sorry, one time Fateful Encounter for... Where is it? Draco Notice, which is uh, AS Tiramisu. And again, this one is only one time and Paid stones as well, 10% flat chance on the 10th pull, 0.4% of the normal style um, 4.5, and as well as 0.8% of the normal style, as well as 0.8% of the AS version on pulls 1 to 9. So keep in mind that the 10% is only on the 10th chance, and don't forget all the odds on pulls 1 to 9 as well. Very similar to the other faithful, you do have uh, options of getting all the other uh, five stars as well so we don't need to scroll all the way down but you can clearly see that it is available for you. Now first off if um, you are wanting a tiramisu in any sense um, both of them are obviously very good value you can use your thousand paid stones you get a guaranteed five star one of which could potentially be um, AS tiramisu okay and obviously in the case of the earth series if you're missing a majority of these and keep in mind that a lot of them are still very very viable a seal for example is very powerful i know my myris is only the normal style version so that's a big downside compared to getting the as version of course however you do get as tuva which with manifest is very good buff and uh, debuffer you get as lokito again not the most valuable and as elga again her normal style in my opinion is a lot more valuable than the um as version however Keep in mind that the AS versions do give you the access to side grave using chance if you so choose. And then we'll talk and we'll show the regular version as well. Now this one is similar to regular uh, AS banners where you have a dedicated banner to Tiramisu in any form. So 0.4% chance of the uh, 4 star and 0.8% of the normal style, 0.8% of the AS. And keep in mind that you still as a regular banner, non-paid stones, um, you can still get the Uellas and Milshas of the world here. Now you can scroll down. It actually keeps up and you get, do get most of the newer units as well. I don't believe you get ES Molina. So that's one downside to this banner because as you know, um, non-paid banners uh, tend to be a little bit behind in terms of getting the up-to-date five stars. And again, you know, normal Rainbow Sisters bots and so on and so forth. Okay, so back to AS Tiramisu. So really what comes down to something on any or all of these banners is what we consider um, whether or not AS Tiramisu or even Tiramisu is considered very, very good. So if you missed my, um, I guess, update notice yesterday, um, keep in mind that AS Tiramisu is our second Earth zone. This is a Lance type unit. So uh, obviously um, being that it's a Lance type unit, this one not only boosts Earth damage by 50% because in Earth Zone, all elemental Earth type, whether or not it's sword, uh, bow, pierce, magic even, all Earth types attacks are 50% increased in damage. However, AS Tiramisu is actually much geared to boosting your um, Earth P 
Pierce units. And so obviously we have Premaya, we do have AS Seal, and Milsha being the ones that I can think of that would be the most beneficial of this uh, zone. For every uh, Earth move used um, the turn before, AS Tiramisu gives 7.5% boost to speed and power. And so a uh, max of 30% for moves, of course. Not only that, that she has a two set two AS moves. The setup move uh, gives her four Dragon Origin stacks and it increases Lance and Bow equipped characters' damage by fifty percent. Also, this one does damage and it's based on the Spirit value. So very similar to her normal styles, where higher Spirit value gives higher damage. Now the spam move is the Earth type Pierce attack, single target, and number of attacks will increase by one for each stack. Um, that she has. So you actually have four origins obviously to stack and then she loses one each time you use it. And so um, in terms of this second move, increase crit rate 50% and that effect is doubled for lance and bow equipped characters. So essentially for lance and bow units, especially if they are earth type, they will benefit from the guaranteed crit of 50 times 2 which is 100% crit rate. Also benefit from the 50% lance and bow boost from the previous move and Lance and Bow equip characters crit damage increased by 30%. Also in Earth Zone, Pierce resistance down 30% stackable for a total of 60%. Now if you have normal style Claude with Manifest, you'll know how powerful Pierce resist 60% is because when you use that and the crit damage up, you can really make your units insane damage. So should you summon? Again, let's talk about um, Earth Zone in general and how AS Tiramisu fits in comparison to the different type of Earth parties um, we can make right now. And so I do apologize that this is going to be a little bit longer video than normal, but I did want to really emphasize uh, what you're looking for when you're summing for AS Tiramisu, both what you're getting and what you're potentially giving up. So first of all, I, I for those who don't have Mayunfa, which is an Earth uh, Zone unit, the first one, Keep in mind that AS Mayufa is coming a number of months later, so I want to say six or seven updates down the road. After that, uh, you also have access to AS Chio, which is like, I want to say the update after that. So within eight updates. Now keep in mind, seven to eight updates essentially is, you know, anywhere from three to five months, depending on how quickly Japan releases. And so if you desperately need an Earth Zone, in order to wait for those banners in the future, you're talking about waiting for anywhere you know for that many um, months. Not only that, but keep in mind that there's a lot of banners coming up that are extremely powerful as well. So you really have to budget if you are free to play and decide which banners you are using. Also, uh, keep in mind that um, in terms of uh, overall usefulness in this Earth Zone versus others, Mayufa has an end of turn heal. And also her VC increases crit damage by 50%. Now AS Tiramisu is definitely more in, um, offensive in terms of DPS because he gives speed and power up to 30% on your whole team. However, other units can probably do something similar. You still benefit from the 50% elemental increase in damage from having AS Tiramisu. Now let's talk about the different types of Earth teams and how we how AS Tiramisu fits and whether or not you absolutely need her on your team. Now first of all, let's cover Earth Slash. So obviously we have a lot of Earth Slash units. Some are free, some are not. All of them are extremely good and even the free ones are great. We got Velvet, Violet, we got Deidre as your top three. Obviously if you summon for any, you can, we can add those names on as well. In terms of Earth Slash, keep in mind that any Slash Zone unit, and we do have a free one in Crest, will enhance those Slash DPS by 30% even if they're Earth. And so if an enemy is weak to Earth, and that's what we're really talking about, everyone. We're talking about whether or not you can need an Earth zone or whether or not you can work with an Earth-type attack in a weapon zone, if that makes sense. So in the case of Earth Slash, you can use a Slash Zone Setter, even if that Slash Zone Setter is not Earth-based, and then you can use three free DPS that's Earth or a mix of, you know, other gacha type. And in which case, you probably can handle most of the content that requires Earth damage anyways. Now next, we can talk about Earth Elemental. So mixed Earth team with both, uh, you know, all types of weapons and magic. In my opinion, I feel that AS Tiramisu is really geared towards maximizing the damage from 
pierce units. Obviously with a pierce resist down, lance and bow weapons up, lance and bow equip characters crit rate up, lance and bow equip characters crit damage up. Really, it doesn't boost any sword users, obviously not magic users, and so the aforementioned units, which is obviously the Milsha's AS Seals of the World, will benefit greatly. However, if you're talking about an enemy who's weak to Pierce specifically, not sure that Earth Pierce would be your most powerful uh, Pierce type unit. If you think about the number of powerful Pierce units we have, we have Yukino, we have Milsha, we have AS Seal, and you can even use AS Foreign to bring out the benefits of all those. Keep in mind that when you're talking about uh, um, uh, Pierce Zone, you can actually use different elements at, as well. And so if you're talking about enemy weak to Pierce, not sure you absolutely need um, you know, AST and Misu to bring out the best of them. Like I said, you have uh, Claude manifested. And so you can, if you have something like that, you can really build a powerful Pierce team of which you don't necessarily need AST or Misu. So, and also being that she's very, very focused in earth, uh, earth type damage with her, um, you know, with the other two or three earth pierce units. Again, I can't argue that um, having her as a mixed uh, elemental earth team would do very well, being that I said she only brings out really enhances pierce damage and not really sword or either type. So I would consider Mayufa better in that sense, especially given Mayufa's VC has um, increased crit damage by 50% upwards of two turns if you have the VC Grasta. Now let's talk about earth um, magic. So of the earth magic units, we have AS Clart and Clart. AS Clart's not here yet, but will be here. Clart is a moderate, not the greatest earth unit. We have Tuva as well as AS Tuva, and keep in mind AS Tuva with Manasa is quite useful. And we also have AS Myra, which is still one of the top DPS for both Earth and Magic teams. Now bear in mind that eventually, months down the road, we have AS Chio, which will really bring out Earth Magic teams, being that she's Earth based. And you'll have four top of the line Magic users that are Earth based that will crush any Earth weakness type enemy. Even if you don't think about that, having AS Rosetta bringing in magic zone and enhancing your top two or three earth magic DPS. Again, if the element, if the enemy is weak to earth, you're shredding it even in regular magic zone. And so after all of that talking, what I'm trying to tell you is that um, if you can afford to wait for a secondary earth zone, I would highly recommend waiting for AS Mayumfa or waiting for AS Chio. I realize that's a number of months away, but I would imagine you can get by with a, uh, weapon type earth attack, either slash or pierce, and you don't necessarily need AS Tiramisu. Now one final note I'll mention, the AS banner does have access to the normal style Tiramisu banner, and Tiramisu is still one of the best ones for clearing tons of mobs and some tougher bosses, especially in the early to mid game. I would argue though, but by the time you get to mid to end game, and certainly after that, when you have access to some, some Grasta, um, good gacha units that have AoEs, you don't necessarily need Tiramisu as a normal style to clear bosses or clear content because you could probably make a more focused um, team that will AoE everything out of the way. And so I won't speak too much more about Tiramisu as a normal style, but I really don't feel her value is as much nowadays versus when she first came out over a year ago. So in summary, unless you absolutely need um, enhancing of Earth Pierce specifically. I don't think she does as well in enhancing Earth um, regular elemental teams and certainly not in Earth Slash or Earth Magic teams of which I've mentioned some other units that can help with that more. And so uh, I would highly give this one a pass unless you absolutely want that um, focused Earth Pierce. Keep in mind also future units and banners are coming up all of which will be highly demanding of your stones being that they're extremely powerful. Anyways, uh, regardless of what I said, I know that you'll, uh, the ones who want to summon for her, especially if she's your waifu, will be worth it. And so let me know in the comments below, again, for those who haven't mentioned it already, if you are planning to summon, if you have summoned, and your results if you have. And for those who do summon, I wish you guys great luck. I want you to hit your 5 stars, your waifus, anything you need to help enhance your game. As for myself, still thinking about it, um, my heart says yes but my mind says no, and so logically, I should pass on this banner. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.